Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? Well, you could be a little more encouraging. I just hate seeing you get your expectations up every night like that. I'm not giving up on her. Hey, I don't want you to give up on Mercedes. Just have more realistic expectations, that's all. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Could be, Manny. Just hang in there. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down in the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay. Tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay. I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is... I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay. Back to work. Okay. Hello, Manny. Hola. Quiet night, huh, Carnal? Day of the Dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Mechi. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Nothing but the best for my customers. My rich customers. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping.
Look at it. You are Perry Monk. Number two. Two is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. Again? Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, Not betting is closed. No more bets, please. Not while they're losing. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You, you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Ludger, you are Perry Monk. Number two. Two is the winner. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. Again? Mesdames et Messieurs, you know, jeu, si vous some play. people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed.
Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, uh, yeah. good luck, son. That's all I got to say. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walk-in beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny, because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah, mm hmm? Nothing. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I could glot us some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. I'd better go finish packing. Aye, you do that, son.
this gate only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. It's locked, but there's nothing up there anyway. This gate only leads up to the lump. I've got the lumps to prove it. This giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Should, but it don't. I killed the pain, turn off my drill, stop working. How about that? No, no, no. I can take it. Bring it on, pops. I'll pop you, sailor boy. I think these are binders of tattoo designs. They're labeled nautical and nice, and a third one just says anchor mania. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot about my date with Inez. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. Uh, not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. And I told you, Calavera, not now. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still or I need to strap you down. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. Caterpillar? Me and Shag fight alone. Me and them fuck your bell pull fire. I really doubt I'll be touching that anytime soon. It's empty. Ah! Hey! Shut door! You slow down my grinder. Very painful. Very painful, eh, Naranja? Like torture. <laughs>
damn door. Nothing to eat in there. You will want a snack? Go get mother. It's a beautiful day here at Feline Meadows. Ugh, I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. Wow, somebody really liked this cat. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. I don't need one of those. Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sandspoof was in the lead. Fucci, that smell is peor que la muerte. This cat litter really needs changing. See, this is why I don't have a pet. It says, revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. I could open it with my teeth, but I'm not that hungry. Wet foods for winners. Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. Mmm, smells good. But I'd rather eat my own arm. See, this is why I don't have a pet. Post time, no more bets. Hey. Looks like a great night for cat races. Hello? Please keep off the track. Oh, hi! Betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? And the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. Do not pet the cats, please. Hello? We're 
Oh, hi. Betting, Betting stop, please. Here five. you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. And we're off. In the lead. Right out of the gate. Click on the letter. Just a bunch of cats. Yeah. But look how fast they're running. Ah. Sorry, sir. I'm sure you'll be a winner next time. Sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. Full of curiosity. Oh no, she's gone down. Full of curiosity. Wow, Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Hey, hey, official documents. Don't touch. A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I needed to find coins in my couch. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Locked. They're lockers. They're locked. They're lockers. These lockers have a note on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you.
Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Anybody there? Look, I told you, we don't have any kitty hats today. What? You have to wait until Tuesday. That's kitty hat Please, day. I don't want a track. kitty hat. Fine with me. What's your bet then? I don't gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why did you call me down here? For the friendly conversation. <laughs> Anybody there? I told you, we don't give a Here. Oh, another Chow Chilla Charlie original. We're give me one good go. reason not to throw you out of here. Because I'll tell Max to fire you. Where don't Southwest go? Leeward Louie, you're not my paw. And we're off, in the lead, right out of the gate. Windward Windy. You're not my ball. Having a little trouble. Making up for lost time. Bum bum's home. And it looks like Desdemona. But here comes a challenger. Grueling monkey. Someone's gaining on the outside. It's Bum bum's home. Scratch pole jockey, losing ground. Bum bum's home, catching up. Desdemona in first place. In second place, grueling monkey, Desdemona, coming around the left. Leeward Louie, bringing up the rear. You're not my ball. Yeah. Oh no, she's gone, gone down. Leeward Louie, out of nowhere. It's a miracle. Just doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know? Blue casket. <gasps> Hi, what's your name? Hi, what's your name? Hey, look, Deadbeats. But don't you see, when the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. 
Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Morgan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Buenas noches, comrades. Hey, Manny, no offense, but we don't have time for establishment types like yourself. What makes you guys think I'm so establishment? You smell like bacon and oppression, man. Okay. Hey, kids. Sorry, Manny. No room for the bourgeois in our revolution. <laughs> yeah, man. No room for the big fat cat from the uptown party that didn't send our invitations to the working class. Hola. What of it, Mr. Wheeler, Mr. Dealer, Mr. Loves the Apples but Hates the Apple Peeler? Labor organization and revolt made easy. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Do you think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive, we, we slept. slept. Life's, Life's just, just some rapid, rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? I'm chasing a woman I met once and can't forget. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ah, 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 ah,
<laughs> hey, how about another poem? Okay. Ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes to me. To ashes to ashes to ashes to ashes. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Mind if I go in? You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. Just the dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. sink is full of dirty hookah water. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now. Not portable. Nothing in the dishwasher. I don't get the feeling those cleaning supplies are used much. Let the waiter clean up after himself. I don't really need a bunch of cleaning supplies. Dirty plates can stay put. As soon as I think of a use for stinky food waste, I'll give it a shot. As soon as I think of a... Ooh, food waste. Hi, what's your name? Hola. Get a whiff of your privilege, your big belches of entitlement. I'd vomit, but there's no food in my belly, because I won't play the man's game. <laughs> 